So, hello fellow coin collectors, how you going? You might be wondering, whoa, what is this car? Why have I got a car set? Well, this is actually a coin set issued by the Royal Australian Mint. And there's actually two versions. There's this Holden one and there's actually a Ford one. I would actually like them to actually make a Toyota one because, well, we drive Toyota cars, not Holdens or Fords. Oh, that's so un Australian. Well, get over it, mate. So, right, I'm just getting this. So, here's the other set. Ooh. This is the actual Ford set. I'll make another video on that later. So, these tin sets actually started to be issued in 2000 and 16 with the Holden one. I actually had a Holden one, but I sold it before I made a video. Uh, that's that's sad. They would actually, these ones are actually sold by the Mint for $120. Uh, they're all sold out now. You cannot get them for $120 anymore. At the moment, the price of these ones are about a hundred and no, about $200 to $300. I would say because they're Holden, and Holden's iconic for Australia, they will actually go up quite a lot. So this is the logo for Holden, so if you see I've carved that logo to Holden. Um, Motor Sports is part of a Holden's DNA. Yeah, for 50 years. Holden's Monaro set, the scene. Four years of a track dominance of Bathurst Classic with one, two, three outright finishing the 1968 event. So it just tells you about the different cars that actually were in the different various racing competitions. Oh, I'm sorry. This is actually, uh, looks like part of the engine, so. They're both pretty good. So here's the inside. So inside, we have a coin in their cards. And it actually comes in, well, let me take the cards out first. Comes in this plastic folder, which uh, you set the coins in. And we have the actual coin cards themselves. So this is the first one, hold a Monaro. Yeah, I actually don't really know much about these cars at all but as you can see the coin folders are actually the same color as the cars and if we open it up it actually gives you some information about the actual car itself so they're all v8s they should be because they're uh, sports cars and this one says features a v8 quoted at 250 horsepower uh, four speed Signanor gearbox 113.6 litre fuel tank Yep Oh lots of information gives you the engine power Gives you the actual track, the gears, brake system And here's the actual carb on its side yeah, It looks okay, not bad And here's the actual coin now the coins in the other set are actually coloured. This is a HK Monaro GTS 327. And this coin here actually has a mintage of 10,000 that you can only get in these coin sets. So you can't actually buy these individually unless it's been taken out of that set there. And here is the actual a photo of the actual car at the time of racing. Not bad. And here is the obverse, just a normal queen's head. And you can actually, you should be able to pop the coin out. Yeah, see? So if you get it rotated or anything, or just backwards, then it can be easily fixed and someone's just tampered with it. No focus. Well, there you go. Yeah, it looks okay. It would look better coloured. So, let's have a look at the other coloured coins. So, well, this one's out of whack. So here we have 1970, another Monaro. Slight design difference. 
Um, here's the information. Looks like it's more powerful. 186 kilowatts. And this one's 370. Mm, a lot more powerful engine. Technology is awesome. So it gives you some information there. If you want to read it. There you go. Here is the actual car on its side. And here is the actual coin. Not bad. Nice coloured coin. Let's have a look at the other side. So here is the other side. And it gives information. So the standard specifications of a 50 cent coin. And the design is a bell. And it has a mintage of 30,000. So the rest of these coins have a mintage of 30,000. The coloured ones. And let's go on to the next coin. So then we have the 1972 Tirana, not bad. Uh, colour of the car could have been a lot better. Uh, here's the information. Uh, the engine power has gone back to the first 1968 engine power. Here is the actual car itself. Here's a photo, 30,000. Looks like they're all designed by A Ball. So Royal Australian Mint. Let's have a look at the coin itself. So here is the actual coin. You can have a look. The actual quality of this um, printing of colours on these coins. So as you can see, more detailed, more micro printing. So it's actually gotten better since uh, 2001 when they first issued coloured coins by the Royal Australian Mint. So in future. That can only get better. Let's have a look at the next card. So the next one is a 1972-9 Tirana. I actually owned a Tirana when I was younger. It's actually green. And it was, it was not a bad car. It had some engine issues in it. The petrol injection had a problem. But uh, well, there you go. So here's the specifications. 313 kilowatt engine, which is... Not as powerful as the 1970 car, but still more powerful than mine. Here's the actual car itself. Not bad. And, oh, there's a photo. Not bad, more modern type of photographic impression. And let's have a look at the actual coin. So here is the actual coin. As I said, these coins are actually get better in quality of the printing of the colour. And not bad. So here we have the 1984 Commodore. So a Holden Commodore is actually very iconic for Australians because it actually reminds them that they are Australian. A lot of Australians like to get either a Holden Commodore or a Ford Falcon and they like to do it up in... Um, so like a sporty fashion and they just love it so here is the actual information on the coin card okay yep 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 power of the engine is only 313 kilowatts so it still is not as powerful as the 1970 maybe there was a regulation that re had, um, restricted the type of or the power that the actual car could have. But I'm not actually into racing, so if anyone knows anything about racing cars, I'd actually like to know what the power restrictions of a car are. So I actually like the colours on this car. Don't really like the fin, but anyway, car's a car, get you from A to B. Here is a photo. And there's normal specifications. And let's have a look at the actual colour of the coin. So here is the actual coin. As you can see, it's quite good. As you can see, the basic design is pretty much the same. Just the car is different. So here we have the 1996. And it had, ooh, 450 kilowatt power. 
So this engine is actually a lot larger. And it gives out more power. The way that the car has increased, probably from the first one, uh, it doesn't have the weight, so it's, the weight's probably increased about two to 300 kilograms. And here is the actual car itself, number one. It also has lots of um, advertisement from different companies and they actually sponsor the actual car. It also has the names of um, the individuals who were probably the drivers. And here is the actual a photograph. Good, not bad. Let's have a look at the actual coin. So here is the actual coin. As you can see, quite good detail in the actual car itself. And here we have the last coin, uh, 2001 Commodore. As I said, uh, Commodores are actually iconic for Australia. And this one, 460, so the most powerful car of the lot. Maybe they actually, oh, 2018, so they actually use this car currently. It's been around since 17 years. These cars are quite expensive, so I doubt it very much. They change them every year. Um, here's the actual car, the colour is actually a lot better than the other cars. Here's a photo, not bad. Let's have a look at the actual coin. So here's the actual coin car in more of a 3D fashion, uh, not bad, and those names here are actually the people who actually race the cars. Now I know that because I actually do recognise one, where is he, ah yeah here you go, Peter Brock, he passed away in 2006 the same time as Steve Irwin, he actually died in a car crash I uh, can't might have been at Bathurst but I'm not too sure so that's these are the names of the drivers so obviously this one had a driver and a co-driver uh, they probably would have taken turns I'm not too sure but or maybe they actually had uh, two drivers that changed over regularly so they wouldn't get fatigued if it's like a long race then they need to or else they could crash and burn. So, Australia's high octane commemorative 50 cent coins. I'm not too sure if they're actually going to issue these in the future. Maybe they will. But the coins that were issued last year, 2017 for the Ford and 2016 for the Holden, um, were just normal cars that Ford and Holden produce, so if they're going to issue these in the future, then they need to uh, come up with some other ideas. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope this was informative. Um, if you want to get these, you can get these on eBay, or you could probably try a coin store, but I don't think they have them anymore. So, have an awesome coin collecting time, people. Bye-bye.